Should Malcolm Holmes be killed by the courier or live? Malcolm Holmes is a retired trader in Fallout New Vegas. He was a collector of star bottle caps in order to get the treasure that's hidden in the Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters building. That is always so tough for me to say. He claims to have retired from collecting said caps. Or has he? The first time you encounter Malcolm Holmes is sometime after you, the courier, have picked up your first star bottle cap. He claims he's been following you, and he has. Holmes approaches and introduces himself as a retired trader who noticed they had the same interest in the bottle caps that he collected long ago. He also mentions that if enough caps are collected, the treasure can be claimed from someone named Festus, not to be confused with the bestus. For me, it was six hours into the playthrough in the middle of nowhere, right about in the mountains of Bitter Springs. The dude terrified me. I was in the middle of fighting some Cazadors and I just turn around to talk to this freak. Here's some background information on the star bottle caps. So bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla were randomly capped with these as part of a promotion before the Great War. We love consumerism where participants needed to redeem 50 of them at the Sunset Sarsaparilla company headquarters in Las Vegas in order to receive a prize. This prize has now attained a legendary status following the war, becoming a highly sought after treasure in the Mojave Wasteland. Makes sense. The prize for the Tootsie Roll wrappers is, is pretty sought after still today, so I understand. These bottle caps can be found all throughout the Wasteland, often in really strange locations. One of my favorite locations is on chessboards. Kinda cool. The caps are thought to be very valuable. Makes sense because you turn them in for a prize. The treasure's contents are unknown though. Although Malcolm hints that it could be money or technology or other pre-war items whose actual value is unknown. It could be a, a PSA 10 Charizard or it could be a My Little Pony figurine in a jar. Somehow, these star bottle caps are still occasionally found, as the treasure's guardian still distributes them. Here's some extra info on Malcolm, so you can understand him as a person just a little bit more before you murder him. Malcolm will approach the courier to initiate dialogue regardless of them being in combat or not. So no matter if you're fighting Cazadors, like I was, no matter if you're fighting Death Claws, doesn't matter what you're doing or where you're at, Malcolm Holmes will be like, yo, what's good? Malcolm can also reach the courier no matter where they are at in the Mojave Wasteland. No matter where they are at. Even those locations that would be pretty inconvenient, such as on the scavenger platform. The scavenger platform is located by Hoover Dam with all the lake lurks, Cazadors, Death Claws, and other NCR freaks. If Malcolm Holmes finds you on the platform, he will swim off after he's all done talking with you, no matter if the water has been cleared of lake lurks or not. The dude does not care. He's a freak. Malcolm is also a member of the Void Critters faction, causing almost all Mojave Wasteland wildlife to consider him friendly, as well as super mutants and members of the Vipers and Jackals. And the super mutants also include those at Black Mountain. The, the devs said, let's take Malcolm Holmes, have him be able to stop time. Nothing can fight him or beat him up and let's make him be able to approach the courier anywhere. Let's give him near godlike powers and let's hope the courier doesn't kill him. Now let's get into the meat, the discussion. Here are some reasons to let Malcolm die. Approaching a stranger is extremely stupid and dangerous, especially in the Mojave. If the courier were to do what many of us already did in previous playthroughs, then the courier would not be in the wrong. Another thing is, you running up at someone, no matter what they are doing, is signing a death warrant, even in today's world. Let's just say you were fighting for your life in, at Walmart in Chicago, and some random dude is running straight at you, eyes locked, running at you. That dude would be clapped, sent to the afterlife, toast, and whatever other clever things that you could come up with. Another thing, Malcolm tells you of a treasure, not knowing you at all. You could be a treasure fiend who eats people. And I know for me, the greed really grew when I heard about this cool treasure. I started eyeing him up like he was a Waffle House breakfast sampler. The worst thing that Malcolm Holmes does is he forces you into a conversation. He makes you have a conversation with him. 
let's just say you are an introvert. You're having a good time, you're exploring Mojave, you got your AirPods in, you got your spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle, and you're having a good time with Eddie, whatever other companion you like. We stand Eddie's supremacy here. This dude walks up to you, taps you on the shoulder, takes your AirPod out and says, Hey, I've been following you. If that's not sick, then I don't know what is. Another thing is, he might have potential star bottle caps on him. Now, Malcolm tells you that he quit searching. That sounds pretty sus to me. And now, he is looking like a whole cheesecake. This brings me to my final point. Let's just say you have a reputation to keep as a cold-blooded murderer who kills everything that moves. Well, Malcolm will be no exception. Now let's go to our very few reasons we have to let Malcolm home live. Family. We might not take it as serious as Fast and Furious does, but Malcolm may have a family waiting for him to get home. He may be the sole provider of the family, the breadwinner, if you will. There's no 100% way to know, so with that in mind, maybe, maybe Malcolm should live. We could also get into the whole, killing isn't inherently right, so if you have this view, then Malcolm should live. Malcolm did also help the courier and let you know of some amazing treasure, as well as to watch out for a murderer, not knowing if you are one yourself. So maybe as a reward, you won't blast him for the few star bottle caps he might have. This brings me to my last point. Same as the last discussion, you might have a reputation as a pacifist. Therefore, blasting Holmes with the 12-gauge shotgun doesn't line up with your views. Therefore, he gets to live another day. This brings us to your choice. Based on all this information so far, what would you, the viewer, do? Would you let Malcolm walk away unharmed? Or would curiosity get the better of you, leading you to kill Malcolm Holmes? As for me, the greed was too much. I could feel it welling inside of me. The more I learned about this treasure, I couldn't let him escape if he only had one bottle cap. I needed it, so I blew Malcolm to smithereens. Then perish.